Right guys, it's Monkey and um <clears throat> I said I was going to do a tutorial but most people have been requesting editing tutorials and I've already like sort of said I've already sort of planned out that I'm going to be doing that series where I make a montage and tutorial over it. So I don't really want to do that because it might take up an episode of that where you know, I would maybe want to go over that technique. So today I'm going to do finishing off your backgrounds and gradient maps and things like that just to make it look really good because I think this looks plain so this is the background without a gradient map I actually haven't added a gradient map on my actual background because when I did it when I did it um, I'd saved it and I'd forgot to add one I uploaded it but when I opened it again I'd forgot to add some of the stuff and I couldn't be bothered to, re to remake it and it didn't really you know matter that much so but I'm just going to go over it adding a gradient map to it so gradient maps basically I'm just going to go over what they are if you want to add one you go down here and select gradient uh, gradient map even and as you can see it looks a bit weird now basically what it's doing is that's highlighting the light points and that's highlighting the dark points so if we just go back to the layers and you need to put this as an overlay or a soft light I'm going to put it as an overlay for now as you can see it's highlighting the dark and light points in different colors so uh, where have we got just ones you've got loads here so you could use this one for example that looks pretty nice um give it more of a metal effect you know if you go if you go through you can get some really really nice effects i know um Kwame uses these gradient maps uh quite a lot and yeah, he's a bit of a beast. My favourite one is this one actually. Um don't know why. But if I just that's a bit too strong. If I've gone on soft light there and it makes it look a little bit better. So you you play depending on your image, you wanna play with soft light and overlay. And I think that looks really nice. It gives it more of a realistic effect. If I zoom in here you can see that it's you know it gives it that real effect okay um so that's that's that um don't think there's much more to go over finishing off uh you can add things such as image adjustments I'm on the right layer. Um, image adjustments, and we could use a gradient map there. Um, and we can also add things like, if you wanted to change the colour, you could go on hue and saturation, and it would make it a little bit, you know, more customizable for the colour. So if you wanted it to be green, and the saturation is like sort of how bright it is. So yeah. It's uh, it's all for the technique that you want to try and achieve. Um, I think that looks pretty nice in green actually. But uh, yeah, sorry about my Facebook just going off then. But yeah, all right. So I'm gonna keep it as is. Right. So then when you've done that, what you want to do is this is how I save mine. Good file save for web and devices. And I usually use PNG24 or JPEG depending on really what well, mood I'm in, or PNG8. I really transfer between them. I don't usually pick a set one. It's depending on the quality of the background and what sort of look I'm going for and how much stuff I've actually put on, on the background. If it's quite detailed, you don't want a high file size. So, uh, yeah. So, most, most popular, I usually do this. Um, not really many settings to copy down there. And I just click save and save it. So yeah, that's uh, basically it. Just a nice quick tutorial on how to uh, give your backgrounds a nice professional look and make it a lot cleaner. So there, was, there is going to be more in-depth tutorials than this. It's just I wanted to get this one out there. And if you want to join the open lobby tonight, feel free. Uh, oh, for God's sake. Uh, and yeah. So the editing uh, series, if you've, pl if you've got any clips, please send them in. I'm looking for more clips, then I can start doing it. Um, because I've only got two exams left and they're all really spread apart so I'm maybe going to start doing that tomorrow so thanks for watching guys and peace